All right, so on your mark, get set, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 6 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> just like that. Nike just made another $15,000. That's one of at least three reasons I'll be covering with you guys today to explain to you why I think Nike is the best company ever. So, number one, like I just said, the money, the sales, the numbers. They speak for themselves. For a lot of people, that stat is loud enough for you to get the picture. Number two, we're going to talk about the products, the toys, the things that we like, the reason why we spend the money. And number three, we're going to be covering the marketing, the advertising. Talk is cheap. Let's do it. So like my board tips say, one more answer, please. If it ain't about the money. Number three, third place domestic sales for sporting goods was Under Armour. They made $2.8 billion. That is a lot of chicken nuggets. I'm just saying. In second place, you have Adidas. The reason why I put both Adidas, Reebok, and TaylorMade is because Adidas owns TaylorMade and Reebok. They do that so they can try to branch into every single avenue that they possibly can. Just to compete with Nike. They made $19.27 billion. I found that on Forbes.com. And Forbes.com also listed Adidas as the 70th most valuable brand in the world, which isn't bad, but what about Nike? Well, in the meantime, they were just making, I don't know, $29.8 billion. So if you added second place and third place together, you still, you're still short $8 billion in domestic sales alone. We're not even talking about China where they rave over LeBron and Kobe. So from there, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on to the toys, my favorite part, the cool stuff. What's that button do? Today, specifically, we're gonna be covering the Nike Fuel Band and Nike Fuel, the, the creation of it, is actually a really innovative technology. We're also gonna be talking about Nike Plus, which came first. So, if you'll take a look here, we're gonna discuss in detail what Nike Plus is. It's a small transmitting device that you can put into your shoe or your iPod Nano, iPod Touch, iPhone 3GS, or newer. And essentially what it does, and it was created in 2002, it tracks where you are, where you're going, how fast you get there, and then it gives you an idea of how many calories you burn. They started doing that in 2002. They partnered with Garmin to make the Nike GPS watch. And their brand is so powerful that people even forgot that they partnered with a GPS company. Garmin then turned around in 2004 and created their own, and so did TomTom. Tom. We can go back, we're also gonna talk about Nike Fuel. Nike Fuel is just a simple way to let you know how much movement you are doing and creating. It's not based off of your height, your weight, your gender, your age. It's just based off of movement. So it gives you countless opportunities to be a better athlete, to be more active. Because being healthy isn't necessarily about fitting into somebody's BMI or body fat percentage scale. It's about just being up and moving. Because that's what it's really about. And that's what Nike's brand is all about. Lastly, we're going to talk about the marketing. Money has got to be the shoes. Whoa. <laughs> There's more, yes. <laughs> Yesterday you said tomorrow, let's just do it. Just do it as well as, okay, cool. Yeah, it's fine. Just do it as well as I'm not a role model. If you look at brandinsider.com, you'll find, I wanna say his name is Kay Ross. And Kay Ross says that two of the 25 most influential taglines ever invented, especially for Nike, was just do it and Mars Black Men Money has gotta be the shoes. Now imagine being in a company where you can come up with the two most innovative taglines for corporate sporting goods sponsorships in the same year. Turn around, in 1989, they create Bo Knows. After that, Barry Sanders hits. After that, Andre Agassi rock and roll and tennis. After that, Tiger Woods strikes America. By 94, Nike's making $30 billion domestically and you have no idea how it happened. Also, I looked into a book, this book was called by Walt Lefebvre, it was called Michael Jordan and the New Global Capitalism. That's one of the things that makes Nike so innovative to me. Their marketing is, is often imitated, never duplicated. It, it can be annoying, it can be intimidating, it can be entertaining, it can be enraging, but it's effective. So at the end of the day, whether you like it or not, it's like Apple versus Android or, or Mac versus Windows. Whether you like it or not, you're in the war, you're involved, and Quite frankly, it seems to me that if they're beating second and third place by eight billion combined, we already know who's leading from the front. So today, what's the point? We learned today that all shoes and sporting goods are not created equal. 
So, if you find yourself in a position to where you have to buy anything sporting goods related at all, please get Nike. Just do it.